What's up, guys? It's David Piotek. I want to get uh, some guidance for natural disaster. It just happened with Halim. Uh, obviously, it's affected thousands of military members out there. If you use the VA Home Loan, I'm going to drop a link down below to a resource for the VA guidance on natural disasters. Uh, obviously, very relevant right now because there's people that are flooded out, can't get out. They have damaged property. So there's a couple things that they advise on doing. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter because I want to get to the point for resources for you guys. But again, top link in the description is going to be the guide. Send it out to any veteran that you know uh, that is affected by this so they can take the necessary steps and get ahead of it uh, because you, it better to get in line earlier than later in order to get this resolved. So the first thing they want to do is contact FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Um, you can go to disasterassistance.gov or you guys can call one 800 621-3362 and see if there's any additional resources there for you to be able to take. The second thing you do is, or the second option here is contact your mortgage company. Now, they specifically say in this guide that you are responsible for making regular uh, monthly payments even if your home is not habitable. And it's extremely important because this affects your credit, this affects your VA home loan. And so when you contact them, they have different. they should have some different options as far as uh, any type of forbearance or loan modification to get you through this time. Uh, the other part you want to do is also contact your insurance company and do it as soon as humanly possible. Now, I realize that a lot of people are without power right now. I have parents that are in North Carolina and I can't even get a hold of them uh, today. Just their phones are off because uh, there's no power, right? And still a lot of places, road closures, shortage of gas. gas. There's a lot of things that are going on. Uh, but be, if try to get to a location where you can charge your phones or they can charge their phones and call them to be able to get into that. Also, side note on that is that uh, the VA said they are also going to be reaching out to all veterans that, have speci that are part of the Specially Adapted Housing Program. And they can also call the VA at 1-877-827-3700. To again get ahead of that, and that's also something you can just reach out to the VA whole uh, to the VA centers. Another thing is that if you have moved because your home is not habitable, because again, I have parents there, and they have most of their complex being uh, is moving out because of this. Um, make sure that you update your address by calling the VA at 1-800-827-1000. Uh, so your lease can get some correspondence with that. Uh, and if you have it on your mobile phone, you could also pull it up that way and make any changes that, that need to be. They also encourage you to check with your local offices like the American Legion, veterans, uh, the VFW, disabled uh, American veterans or other veteran organizations that may be able to assist you. Um, I know that people right now are helping each other to take stuff out of flooding areas uh, onto dry land so they can at least have something, but I know a lot of things have been damaged. And also in this, uh, the link that I sent you from the VA, it also has information for mortgage lenders if they may not be familiar with it. I'm sure at this point, uh, they are trying to figure out what is going on and what insurance is gonna cover and what they're not gonna cover and where FEMA may step in. So check out the link, please share it with whoever you uh, know that is affected by this because it's affected thousands of veterans that are out there and obviously you want to be able to protect your credit for the future uh, if you need access to capital because if you start having lates your credit score does take a big plummet uh, which again affects your ability to get access to money uh, and that's kind of the, the primary thing here uh, same thing people are being affected with jobs maybe not being getting paid because they're not working uh, same thing contact the lender see what resources are available I'm sure the VA is going to be asking them to be lenient on fees or late fees. And I think already a couple mortgage companies have come out and said that uh, they're going to be providing some relief. So make sure you guys stay on top of that. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon.